Today I'm going to show you how I made this story game and if you're wondering why this video is so short, don't worry, I'll give you a full tutorial on how I made it from scratch so you can too and I'll reveal it somewhere in this video. So keep watching because trust me, you don't want to miss this one. Firstly, we start by building the lobby where you can spawn in. The idea is you jump on one of these trucks which will take you to the story place. Inside each truck is a script which after 30 seconds pushes it in the forward direction and teleports everyone to the story game. Now I bet you're wondering how do you teleport the players to their own separate story game place? Roblox allows you to house multiple places under one game so you can have a place for your lobby and a place for your story game. All I had to do was create that new place and then in my teleporter script each time a truck leaves the lobby, I get all of the players sitting in the truck and I reserve a new server for that story game place and I teleport them all to that new server. And then the story begins. So in the story game place, I created this text ticker. To do this, I created a script which got a headshot image of my character to be the narrator and I created a function which writes the text out in typewriter form so it looks like speech. This is hooked up to a remote event so that I can easily fire this typewriter effect from the server. Now moving on to the status bar, I created a simple GUI at the top of the screen as well as a string value in replicated storage. The idea is I set the string value to be what I want to show on the screen. For example, get settled into the camp or night is approaching. Then in the GUI script, I have an event which basically listens out when something changes. In this case, when the text of the status changes, it will fire our code to update that text. This lets me change the text of the status for all players from one server script, which we'll get onto next. So I had to create the story. Now to do this, I made this server script and inside it, I'll be able to update the status bar and text ticker easily for all players. The premise of the story is simple. It goes like this. Firstly, everybody gets settled into the camp while the sun goes down. And then rain starts to fall, so everyone goes to the cave to shelter. But we left the food basket outside and it's getting wet, so somebody needs to go back and get it, otherwise everyone will go hungry. When the basket gets returned, suddenly you realise that one of the sandwiches is poisoned and whoever ate it is going to die, so someone is ejected from the game. And then the cave caves in and everybody is trapped. That's why we're going to leave the story after five steps, but after you've watched my tutorial, you'll be able to add more to your story by yourself. As you can see, it's as easy as setting the status value and firing the remote event to update the text ticker with the text for each stage of the story. Also, I use bindable events to detect when actions relating to the story occur, such as picking up the basket I just spoke about. When these events fire, the status and text ticker are updated again since the story is moving on. So it gives us a way to detect when the player has done something so that we can move on. Now click the thumbnail in the middle of the screen and I'll show you how to code everything I just showed you from scratch. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Roblox content teaching you how to make games like this. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video which is on your screen now.